This play is in 30 playbooks, and you can use it as a base play to shred your opponent for easy yards. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. And if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button because I'm going to be rolling out a lot of great tips uh, going into the second half of this season. Uh, so guys, I'm going to be building out a Master Draft Champions, a Master Mutt Champions uh, scheme. Uh, and one of the things with uh, having mud is that you can't always get the playbook that you want. You can't get that coveted uh, uh, Patriots playbook that a lot of people are using in mud or in regs. So uh, you want to try to leverage yourself and put yourself in a situation that you have a, enough plays to your disposal that you can have access to pretty much every single playbook. Now, I'm going to be breaking down this mud scheme. And I want to go and show you a play that essentially is in 30 playbooks, and it's the tight end tack. And this is out of the single back wing or the single back ace pair. Very common formation in 30 of the 32 books out there. The only two books that do not have this play is Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs. So if you run any other playbook, you're going to be able to, you don't have to worry about uh, getting, to, uh, you'll have this play that you can actually use. And this is great for draft champions because you obviously are going to have an opportunity to do that. So we're going to take a look at this tight end attack. I'm going to show you multiple ways to run it to go and shred any kind of a defense. So once again, single back case pair, and this is a very common audible too, so sometimes you can leave this play as is, and the play itself is tight end attacked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this against random man blitzes. This is not the best play against man blitzes. Now how I like to run this play is I like to take my split on a split end on the, on the left side of the screen. And he's, he's on the line at scrimmage. I like to slide him in. And the reason I like to do that is it actually opens up the full route matrix that I can have access to for hot audibles. This is going to be my hot route type guy that I'm going to use in this game. Now uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just build the basics uh, vert a vertical concept out of this and if you've got a guy that runs a lot of man blitzes against you this particular play uh, you can actually drop it down right there and get a, a fast read so uh, I would probably come out in this type of a concept right away just to get a get a read on what my opponent is doing if the defender pulls I can go ahead and go back to the backside receiver because I've got basically two different routes that are going to be good against man blitzers and it's going to be this drag right here and it's also going to be uh, the, the route by the tight end on the back end side. Uh, but this is not really the best play to use against some, someone who likes to use a lot of man blitzing. Uh, so if you've got a guy that you're playing against and he's sprinkling that in in a scheme, that actually can, it could cut you off guard. So, But a lot of the good Madden players use a lot of different types of coverages as far as their shells, whether it's uh, cover two, cover four, cover uh, cover three. So this is where this play is going to shine against those type of people that do that. But you got your drag, you've got your high, uh, high lead, uh, a pass lead off the left-hand side against man coverages. So I'm going to do a lot of aggressive uh, cover two uh, zone blitzes uh, with this particular play. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is that I just want to go ahead and show uh, basically my read. So what, there's a couple of ways you can run this particular play. So we can relieve it uh, as is. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and drag up our, 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 our split end up over here. And once again, just go ahead and look for the check down uh, right here. This is going to be the area of the field that we're going to look to. Another thing you could do too is if you got a guy that's using a lot of uh, pressure off the edge, so you can see the defense defensive back over uh, Stills is actually looks like he's coming in. If he is, I can go and just put a little uh, a little uh, hitch route right there and actually get an easy completion. Right, so if I got an opponent that's using a lot of heavy uh, cover two blitzes, uh, basically what I can do is I can go ahead and take my outside receiver Parker, put him on a on a whip route, and actually go ahead and take my uh, slot receiver, or not my slot receiver, my split end, and actually that I put him on a, on a um, a slant. So what's going to happen is he actually is going to get wide open. And the reason why is that the defensive back has to play the cloud coverage. He has to play the whip rod on the back and side. And that's actually, he's going to pull people out of the area. Now you've also got the two tight ends that are actually pulling defenders, uh, defensive backs out of the area too. So that's actually going to give you an easy completion over there. Now if he comes down and creeps, you've got the routes over the top that you're actually going to hit him with. So that's what's cool about this year play is now you're actually going to be attacking uh, that side of the field. Now, also what's cool about this year play is that uh, you can do the same thing on the right-hand side. So let's just go and take a look at this one more time on um, 
one side. You can see right here, and look, I can rack this thing for a good 20 yards right there and make it hard for them to stop at. So what if we do it on the, the opposite side? We're just going to go ahead and take stills and actually put them on a whip route. I can leave Parker as is, or I, I want to put them on a drag because that gives me another progression. So you've got the whip route, and uh, right there, the defender actually came up to the tight end, so I'm able to go check it down. Uh, to Parker uh, underneath. So this is just another way to go ahead and just keep keep your opponent honest um, on that. Now, sometimes the tight end route actually does not get picked up. And you've also got that big uh, route right over the middle that actually is, is something that's going to open up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take stills and put him on a whip route. I'm going to take Parker and put him on a drag route. And the whip route is just clearing things out for me. So I can go ahead and obviously tack the, the, the tight end over the middle. Nice high ball pass, aggressive catch right over the middle, keep my opponent honest. You can get yourself in bait zone right there, so you want to be very conscious of it. Uh, so you don't want to actually look to that. Uh, but right here, as you can see, that wide receiver was that that tight end was wide open uh, with this particular blitz. So if he's not putting a deep blue um, in this coverage, that's going to be a, a huge opportunity right over the middle. So maybe we'll go ahead and see if we can get this. Let's see if we get the blocking set up for us. And right here, we have another opportunity for some big yards against cover two. So he's going to have to cover the high low, and it's going to be very difficult to stop that. So uh, between these two, these are two different adjustments. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and take stills and actually put them in a streak right to clear out and go high low. And you can see right here, this is going to give you more of a, a consistent opportunity. So you can attack off the left with the flat, or you can actually streak them up. That's just something you can consider. So let's take a look at this at cover three. So we're going to stay with cover three blitzes here. And uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and do the same type of a look. I can go ahead and take stills, put them on a drag route, just a traditional look right here. And as you can see right here, this route will get cleared. So it's really just a high low. You're looking at the drag underneath, and then you've got uh, O'Leary uh, going over the top. So if the defender doesn't fall up with O'Leary, uh, you're just going to go drop it down to this little drag route right here. Uh, conversely, you can do the little whip route and then the slant, just like we did with cover two. And just watch high-low um, off to the right-hand side. And you can see this route actually just gets easy separation right there. So it's just another hole in the coverage. What if we just go and streak up the guy, put a drag route off the back-end side? That's just another area of field that you can look to. And you can see here's an opportunity. So bad pass right there, but you can see he was wide open. Not a very common defense you're going to see in this game. So the guys just come down in the box like that. And you can see this opportunity right over the middle of the field right there is going to be for you. And that's the route that you can look against someone who runs a lot of cover three with this. But, uh, what if he's giving us like a, a, a cover uh, two type of look and we're going to go with, with this setup? Well, it's still pretty much the same type of a read. But now, basically, we're going to, have, we're going to be able to go ahead and hit him uh, in the corner off the back end side. So we're going to go ahead and set this up, assuming he might be in a cover two shell, whip up stills, go ahead and look for the whip route, and you can see right here this guy is just wide open for an easy completion, picks up almost 20 yards. Now I'm going to go against cover four, uh, show two, uh, cover four drop show two, and I'm probably doing this because this is one of the more effective cover four defenses, uh, basically all the palm defenses. Uh, I don't like them. I think they're broken. I think I think that it's just a, you're just basically looking at a big touchdown opportunity. Uh, but with this, you can play. You'd actually go ahead and drop it down to that crossing route right, right there. So that defender actually comes down. But what's cool about this this setup once again is watch O'Leary's route. O'Leary actually will, will get past the coverages at the right time. So you got to wait for that route to do that. But uh, what's going to happen is those over the top blue coverages are going to uh, basically give you an opportunity to attack them. So what you can do is you can watch for the, the guy to come down. And when he comes down, you can go and attack him right over the middle right there. So I got rid of that ball a little bit too early. Should have waited a little bit longer. So um, another thing too with cover four, unless he makes some kind of adjustments on coverage, if you use this setup just like we did before, what's going to happen is right here, this this route is going to be wide open and you actually get a nice little spin move, you can pick up some more yards. 
Conversely, uh, same type of situation off the back end side too. If you go ahead and put the whip rod off the back end side, that corner is going to come over and now you can actually go ahead and tack them uh, with the corner off the back end side. This is going to give you flexibility to attack your opponent on either side of the field at you know 10, uh, 10 15 yards depth. Uh, and uh, also another thing you could do too is you could just go ahead and take this guy, uh, just put him on a little hitch route, the coverage doesn't fall back, you can do that, uh, or you could just take off your quarterback too. So once again with my, uh, to my subscribers, uh, guys, thanks once again for your support. If you do like these tips, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time.